What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it. Cause at 3,800 subscribers, we're having another raffle. Um, I love the way how the Honda community comes together. One of my buddies hit me up and he's on his way over with some head studs. I'm gonna go ahead and buy them off of him. We're gonna drop them in and make sure that everything's good. And I'm gonna pull these head studs out and return them. Right now, the time changed, so it's starting to get a little bit dark way faster. Usually I would have like another extra like hour, hour and a half of, of uh, light, but the time changed. So while I'm waiting for him to get here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start installing the radiator. I don't see why not. If it gets too dark, I'll go ahead and stop the video. All right, so as soon as I made that other video, he got here, we went ahead and we installed the head studs and everything's golden right now. Um, I'm gonna have to come back during the day so I can continue recording. So that clip that you guys saw was shot on Tuesday. Today is Sunday and we are ready to continue. I went ahead, um, I torqued everything down. I went 20, 40, and 60 on the torque. I did the sequence and this is what we're looking like right now i threw the valve cover on just to cover it i was using this to cover the the inside of the of the head but instead i decided to throw the cover on the day that i installed the head studs um once again thanks to uh phil for coming out here and hooking it up um and let's get started with the radiator so the radiator is pretty easy to install it's got these little bushings at the bottom of the radiator. My bushings are a little bit beat up, but it's going to have to work. Then you got your plug right here and your radiator hoses. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this guy in there. I really hope that this fan isn't in the way of anything. But it comes down to the exhaust housing for the turbo. I got the pigtail clipped in. Then we got this hose right here. We got the other hose that goes, let me show you guys. Goes right in here. I'm gonna go get some pliers so I can adjust these these clamps real quick. So there it is. So now I'm gonna put this guy back that way. I really don't remember how I had this. If it was like this. Oh, it was like this. All right. Still feels kind of loose.
don't want to send it too fast or too hard so I don't want to break it off this thing this uh, impact is pretty strong there it is it's nice and tight now so that's pretty much it for the radiator we still gotta add coolant to it we gotta put oil in the engine and we gotta put some oil into the transmission but that's gonna be in a different video um, right now we're gonna go ahead and throw the distributor back on here I got the distributor right here I had the bolts in here which I now have them right here these are gonna be 12 millimeters um, these are the wires that I'm gonna be using these were given to me by grease monkey mods let me show you guys who grease monkey mods is if you guys don't know this is the guy right here he's the one that donated the wires so we're gonna go ahead and install this and continue with our video so the distributor should just slip in there just like this you guys can see that these two little marks and then there's like a little line in there just like that and we are gonna put our screws right through here all three spots and I don't know if you guys remember when I first tore the engine apart I marked this I put a little mark right here with the screwdriver and a hammer so I would know where my mark would be so when it was time to reassemble I could just line up those two little marks together and my timing wouldn't be so screwed up to begin with So you guys you saw me install the distributor we got this guy back in here our mark right here size and straight all the way across and right now we're gonna plug this thing in this is the wire that comes off the distributor and we should have a wire somewhere around here that's not plugged in gotta find it it was right underneath the distributor so now we're gonna connect both of these pigtails together and slide it back under here we're gonna do a wire tuck on this later on sometime in 2020 try to hide all these wires and everything so I'm going to go ahead and unplug these. Um, when I unplug these, I'm just going to go one by one. That's probably the easiest step if you've never done wires before. You don't want to get them mixed up. Otherwise, you got to go and find the firing order and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go one by one, disconnect it, and connect my new one and run it to the cylinder, to the spark plug. All right, so I went ahead and I put these new clips on here. These hold the wires together so they'll be nice and uniform when they go down strip right here. Um, I went ahead and I removed this one. This one was just right here. I took it off because we're not gonna need this anymore. Um, I don't have the wires in right now because of the fact that the valve cover, like I said at the beginning of the video, at some point, is just on here to cover the head from any dust particles. I still got to put the gasket that's going to go underneath this before I put it on. And also, 
these plugs have to come out because we're going to need colder plugs. So our distributor is pretty much on there. So now what we got to do is I'm going to jump to this side and get the timing done. So I'm going to go ahead and make my adjustment on my timing gear and make sure that both of these lines are even on both sides and that should be my top dead center mark so this guy actually has to spin just a little bit over just a pinch oh it's a little bit too much let me go back a little bit And then I'm going to go ahead and take, this was a 12 millimeter right here. I'm going to take a 14 and I'm going to go down there and release my tensioner. Just release it a little bit so it gives me the slack that I need. So now that everything's loose, you can see that I could pull up on my tensioner. I'm gonna throw you guys on a little time lapse so I could go ahead and install this. All right, so you guys can see that I got the belt on there now. The pulley moved a little bit down, so I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Um, as you can see, look at the tension on this side. It's loose, this side's loose too. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some tension to this side, this side by turning my crank pulley clockwise just a little bit to match this with the little arrow that's right here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. All right, so that tensioner is nice and tight. We got tension on this side, we got tension on this side. And you guys know from my previous video that my short block was a top dead center. So therefore my timing is good right now. So my alternator is loose right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this bracket. This bracket just goes right here from the head to the alternator and then I'll be able to tie everything down. Alright, so you guys saw me take my ratchet and stick it in between here. I used that so I could pull on it and put a little bit more tension on this belt. So now my alternator is nice and tight. Everything's plugged in. My timing is set. And we are ready to go ahead and install the exhaust manifold. Let's go ahead and bring it out here and put it on and see what it looks like. We're just going to mock it up right now. We're not going to use the gasket. And we're going to put in between this. I'm just going to throw a nut on each side just to hold it in place.
and we're gonna have to go to the store because I don't have the screws that are gonna go through here I'm gonna need some screws that are gonna go through that are gonna hold the turbo in place all right so I had to loosen up the housing of the turbo these bolts that are behind it only the ones that are right here that way I could clock it a little bit so it wouldn't hit the manifold because it's really close to it and it wasn't fitting it's a really tight tight spot but it looks like right there it would be perfect the only problem is that I don't have these bolts that are gonna go through here I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and get some steel ones that are hardened and we're gonna have to adjust this guy also so the oil feed line can just go something like like this like that straight into it all right so we have two options on how we're gonna run this turbo you guys tell me how you guys want me to set it up we could run it just how it is because we're having a clearance problem on this side so we could run it just how it is right now and run the piping so it it comes out this way and down into the inner cooler or we could go ahead and clock this guy let me put you guys down we could go ahead and clock it right there you could go ahead and clock it and if you do then this piping is already down there and we would probably have to go down and maybe elbow it around so go down elbow it, elbow it around so you could go to the inner cooler so I don't know I kind of like the other way where it's kind of like up and it's coming off to the side but you guys tell me how you guys want me to set up this turbo like this or the other way we'll call this uh, B and then the other way we'll call that A so go down below and tell me which way do you guys want to see the turbo A or B once again this is B and this is A so how do you guys want it with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in my other Civic because we're gonna have to go to the hardware store and I'm gonna have to take this so I can figure out what I need so let me do that right now So we are getting very close to getting a first start out of this engine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video right here. Um, it's supposed to snow later on today so if it does I'll go ahead and make a video doing some donuts or something like that. I'll go driving around. Um, so I'll catch you guys on my next video. Remember at 3800 subscribers our next raffle is gonna take place and just to let you guys know the next raffle is going to be cash on hand. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.